Just days after Hurricane Ian moved through Florida, we are still hearing stories of survival in Okeechobee County. That's right. News Channel 5's Tori Dunn and met families who are cleaning up. Thankful they made it through the storm. People helping people. Get it all cleaned up so we can get back to life. Is the theme of this terrifying story a JNS fish camp close to the Okeechobee Martin County border? I'm grateful to have my life, my baby's life. So. Athena Garland, who is pregnant, able to get him out through the window, was sleeping in this recliner. Her grandmother also inside. She goes, Athena, Athena. And she's like yoking me out of the recliner. And as she's yoking me, the tr tree fell on top. And we literally got trapped inside of it. So we're screaming for help. Um, the branches come through the window. Another couple, pretty damn scary, in a nearby RV, grabbed her hand and then she fell on my leg. Also screaming for help. And all of a sudden it was just a loud, a real loud boom. And then the trailer just started, started just went. rolling. And then we just started flying all over the trailer. So, I mean, <laughs> the tree was literally stuck. Athena's family, staying in another decades old cottage, at least 80 years from what I'm told, jumped into action. So my wife. She is the first person to jump up on top of the trailer and jerk the door open. And then I got her uh, down and got both of them. We got both of them out. That's when we realized that they were still in the in that because you couldn't even see Climbed through here. But there was a bunch of tree limbs. Gratitude and getting out alive fill their thoughts today. I'm thanking the good Lord above because <laughs> we yeah. could have been in the bed. <laughs> if we were in the bedroom, we'd have been dead. <laughs> All of a sudden, it's like a big Stuart Gray was just down the road at Butch's that very same night. Dun, 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 dun. Stuart says that the winds were whipping over the dike from Lake Okeechobee, and emergency managers tell us most of the damage that they saw was in mobile home parks and RV communities right off of Lake Okeechobee. Stuart telling us that his home here was one of the first to get it. My recliner that I flipped over. It got so bad. Crawled up inside of. He eventually bailed out in his car. I thought the walls was going to explode. A night to remember, a night to look back on, and to learn from. It was definitely an eye opener to take things more serious than. In Okeechobee County, Tori Dunnan, WPTV News Channel 5.